Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of One Piece, which is on chapter 823. Now, this will only be the video up today because, like, um, apparently, um, if you guys haven't heard or what happened to Japan recently, they had an earthquake. They had an earthquake or something, you know? And I was informed of this maybe, like, um, two hours ago before I started, like, um, doing some other stuff I had to take care of. So... Yeah, this will only be the video up today. Pretty disappointing, but hey, life has a way has ways of like um getting in your way when you want to do some some things that you just want to do. So if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the chapter, we have to it that VV along with like um some Marines are being are being escorted to a certain meeting or something to marry Jules. You know that is just like some kind of like um. You all know what Mary Jules is. That's where all the royalty families and Ten Rubido are at, apparently, along with the world government, the Gorose. And it seems like everything seems to be nice, you know? I was only concentrated on Vivi because I love Vivi. Whoever doesn't like Vivi when you read the chapter or even watch the anime, what's wrong with you, you know? I really liked her as a good supporting character to the very end, which I want, which she's only one of the very few people I enjoy. Speaking of which, I end up reading this other page where, like, um, something about Queen Lagoa Kingdom, and I think King Steli is there. And when I, and, and someone reminded me who Steli was, apparently. So I just go, like, oh no, you gotta be kidding me, you know? That's what I was thinking. And when it came to the other kingdoms, it seems like they're all getting ready to go to the Holy Land of Mary Joseph for the meeting, you know? Such as, like, um, Kings and queens from the world's countries bond and then meet up, you know. But apparently there are some things happening here and there, you know, which I didn't bother paying attention to. Now, speaking of which, you guys hear something about, like, um, this evil black drum kingdom? Those of you who kept up with the One Piece manga will understand what happened to that guy. I forgot whatever his name is, but apparently when it came to those cover pages of his side stories... He was kicked out of the kingdom that he was at, apparently, you know? But later, he ends up rising to fame after using his powers for selling goods and measures and fame and glory and yada yada yada. I didn't care about the South Blue drum, Evil Drum Kingdom. Maybe when he was an antagonist, and apparently Dalton is actually part of that kingdom, you know? And he's gonna go to the meeting, and we have um, Dr... Kuria, I forgot her name. All I know is she was Dr. Chapter's mentor. It's going to come along with Dalton's um, ride. And as for the Dress Rosa, they are going to the meeting too, which I look forward to. And we get to go back to the Fisherman Kingdom where Shiro Shiroshi was having a reluctancy of wanting to go because she wants to go with Luffy instead, you know. But we have to it that Fukabushi and Ma Manboshi, along with her brother and so forth, were like trying to convince her to go, you know. I mean, this is like a dream that Otohime somehow wanted to have, you know? And going back to Luffy and the others, we have two that they're getting ready to go, and Luffy was pretty upset about them being a little depressed and so forth, but Nami tells Luffy to shut up because, you know, you may as jump from a freaking high cliff, you know, <laughs> on top of Zoe. And we have to it that Luffy's getting ready, but we have another company, which another supporting character I look forward to to love, and her name is Carrot, which Nami knows about. And apparently she decides to tag along and help out, you know, while like, go. While he, while the one who decides to tag along with Pecoms is concerned, but he ends up, he ends up, he ends up deciding to stay around and so forth, you know? But Carrot says she wants to come along due to the fact that like, um, she wants to, see the sea, you know, on on the adventure. And she says, I won't be a burn, you know, I got some carrot bentos and something very good to eat, you know. And apparently Pet comes and says, how long do you expect this to last? And Carrot explains, like, only a day and a half, you know. We're go it's going to take several days and so forth, which is something that is really concerning, you know. And we have to it that Carrot is really excited, you know, to see the Wonderland, but Peckham says it's not really great at all. This is going to... And she's excited to see the official sleepover. But Luffy, on the other hand, says, it's fine. As long as she comes. I mean, she's already here. You could take care of yourself. And he was eating her carrot, apparently. And she gets really upset about this and bites him in the neck. And Luffy was, like, choking out of breath. He goes, like, wait, stop. <laughs> and then Luffy 
Luffy was told by Navi to pet her on the head. That's it. And he ends up stop. And then, like, um, <laughs> Luffy's like, and she, Carrot lets go, you know, of after biting his neck after he pats her in the head. And Luffy's like, you're really crazy, you know that? And therefore, we have to it that, like, um, it looks like <laughs> she's not some ordinary fighter, you know, because she almost took out Luffy. And apparently, it looks like everybody's getting ready to go, so get, get, Getting ready to keep going, you know, and we have to it that um, things were starting to like um, look pretty nice. But apparently, there's a newspaper report coming in and giving out some ugly stuff, you know. And apparently, like um, there's one problem: the Revolutionary Army is already taking out Baltigo, you know, which is one of the kingdoms, I believe. And apparently, this that ending became a big big thing because I'm pretty sure Sabo is part of that um, headquarters, you know? And that headquarters is really important to the Revolutionary Army. And from what I last time saw, you know, you guys know Jesus Burgess, right? Apparently he informed Marshall D. Teach or, Mus or Blackbeard about what's up, you know? And I go like, oh my gosh. I did not realize it until until when I re reread the chapter, you know? So yeah, apparently it's in ruins of where the Revolutionary Army is at, apparently. And that is possibly down down by the Yonko itself. Sabo, you better be alive, man. There's no way in hell you be taken down that easily. I'll be freaking my pants if Oda does this. Because I know Blackbeard or Master D Teach is a Yonko right now, but there's no way he could take out Sabo that easily. Not alone... Because of Jesus Burgess, he was informed of where the freaking Revolutionary Army base is at. Holy crud, dude. So, I hope Dragon's okay, but Dragon's really strong. He has to be strong. Why else would he lead his Revolutionary Army, you know? So, in this chapter, it's just all... It's just like half of the half of the chapter. It's just where all the kingdoms are coming together and meet up in Mary Jo's, you know? That's the only thing that, um, that I see. Just half of that. Then the other half is Luffy and the others are getting ready to go where Sanji is with the help of Peckums. And we have Carrot come along, you know. But apparently we see Carrot's power almost taking out Luffy, which is hilarious. But the ending, not only that, shows is that the Revolutionary Army's um, headquarters, which is Monkey, Monkey D. Dragon's headquarters, are de is destroyed. So I don't know what's going to happen, but that is, those, that is the only thing. So only because the, there's only two things that I see important in here. The meeting of the families in the Mar Holy Land of Mary Jones and the ending of the Headquarters Revolutionary Dragon's um, destruction. So, I don't know what's gonna happen, but for Pete's sakes, holy crud, man. Hopefully Sabo and Dragon's okay, but I'm pretty sure they are. They won't be taken down that easily. Until then, I'll see you guys later. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.